Welcome to Yield Max TV. Strategies over spreadsheets. Some people like to trade options. Some people like to make a big deal about something called the wheel and the Korean swing. I don't know, the wheel and the snip snip. I don't know what it's called. But it's a lot of work and everything else. And, you know, it has to do with calls and puts, which are options. Now, a lot of times you'll want to collect a premium by selling a put okay or you could sell a put you could buy a put you could sell a call or you could buy a call it gets a little complicated but anyway so let's say you wanted to well let me just put it this way you the idea is you want to make a little bit of money so you're going to put up like nine hundred dollars and maybe you're going to make 28 or 30 dollars but you know what happens if you're wrong they put it to you that means you have to buy the stock that you really didn't want to buy. If you wanted to buy it, you would have bought it. You were trying to earn income. It's not really push button money. So I, I'm going to let him explain a little to you, but I'm going to show you my way first, if you don't mind. I'm going to use fiat as an example. Fiat is an inverse fund. You don't hold them for long periods of time. Actually, um, it pays a tremendous, tremendous dividend. A dollar eighty nine a share, but that's not why you buy it. Yeah, that's why I bought it. I bought twelve hundred shares. What I focused on was my initial investment. I, everyone loves to focus on having an even share count or focus on the share count. What I like to do is I like to focus on the money. Yeah. So if I put twenty five thousand dollars into something, and it goes over. Okay, that 25000 like here, $1,166, I take action and I sell that amount of shares and take that money. Now, you need to have a good amount of shares to play these games, blah, blah, blah. If you're building up, you know, whatever, that's your thing. But to me, dashboard money, the value of our portfolios, no matter what they are, go up and down every day. Why not capitalize on that? even when there are dividends to be had. You might think, well, Oracle, I'm going to lose out on the dividends. Well, let's pull up the calculator here. So you would give up $94 in dividends, selling 50 shares at $1.89, to have $1,000 now. The market only goes up and down. Okay, this is something you'll probably be able to buy back in. So let's take this money and put it aside. The next thing that happens is we're back at our $25,000, okay? We've ripped our profits and put them aside safely, yet we've only affected our dividend by $96. Now, going a little further, my $25,000, I call this profit ripping. It's a little different from core compounding. I've, court, I've talked about core compounding in other videos. This is profit ripping. Core compounding is when you want to hold a position. You keep that money you put aside, like now, we're going to take another $532 off the top because, look, it's $532 more than what I had. And again, if we want to calculate another calculator, okay, 532 oh, I don't know what the share price is. Um, I, I, uh, hold on. I don't know. Whatever. It's minuscule to your dividend. Take that money now. So now before the dividend on $25,000, okay, let's see something. 25000 Before the dividend, okay, I basically almost got the amount of the dividend. Right here is $1,500 profit. I don't have to buy calls. I don't have to buy puts, nothing. Now, I, you know, I did this once on Apple stock when it was running up. Do you know you can do this on anything that's running up? Okay. Focus on your core number. Now, for me, with fiat, I changed my core number now. Well, after I took that $500, I brought it back down. To 25,000. Do you see how it works?
Then on days when whatever this is, it could be Apple stock, Google stock, it could be a yield max fund, anything. That money you put aside, you know those deep red days like this? Maybe that's when you can buy back in. So you can do this with Bitcoin, you can do this with anything, okay? And it's a form of my core number compounding. Now what happens if, let's say, this is a five year period of Tesla stock, it was up 1200%, right? So let's say you had a core number of 50,000. Oh my God, your stock just went up. Let's say you had a thousand shares worth, but your number was 50,000, okay? Right here, at this point, you had a thousand shares. Okay, now here, okay, you're ripping money off the top. Ripping money off the top. You've doubled your money, okay? You still have, you still have the same $50,000, but you've ripped 50,000 off the top, okay? And you keep doing that. Now you can raise your core number. You might want to bring it to 100,000. Every time you're over 100,000, rip off the top, rip off the top. What do you do with that money? You're selling your shares. Oh my gosh. In between here, don't forget, this is a five-year chart. There's many, 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 many up and down opportunities. Red days, like I showed you. On those red days, you deploy the money you ripped off the top. You can see right here how in just a few days on an inverse, I made 1500. The truth is I made 2500. And then I decided to make my core number 50,000. It's temporary. I'm using it for several reasons. If you'd like, I'll go into that. I love your comments. It's the only thing that lets me know these videos are worthwhile. If you're subscribing and you're commenting about the video, I, we, we're communicating. If not, I'm just a guy talking to my computer, wasting my time. There's no join me button, there's no ads, there's no, if you see ads, they're from YouTube. You should pay YouTube premium. It's a different experience. So focusing on your core number has incredible benefits. How powerful is this? Four years ago, I made a video on this, okay? And you can use it on anything. I was using it on Apple stock when Apple was booming. My core number was 40,000 and I was ripping off the top. This was way before their split. It was incredible how I documented, with no spreadsheets, how much money this ripping off the top or core number compounding can make you. I took another $300, okay? Making it $1,800 on only 2,500 in fiat. At this point, I decided, okay, hold on. Well, yeah, that's where I realized that XDTE outperforms QDTE no matter what anyone says, even on red days when we're bleeding out. So I just bought more XDTE. I love the weekly pays. I'm still with you on Roundhill and AMSI. But before I go further, I want to make sure that you all understand what I mean by choosing a core number and then ripping off the top. So I increased my core number a fiat to 50,000, okay? I had a whopping, whopping dividend. All together, now finally this stupid tracker is caught up. Now, every portfolio is temporary, and this doesn't even have it right, but I'm gonna get paid every week. 429, 429, 429, 429 is gonna be XDTE Roundhill. I'd like to bring that up. I only have $70,000 in Roundhill now, but I have dry powder. Okay, so and then on two weeks of the month, okay, they don't they have ulti mixed in here. I'm going to get a big payment. They don't even have this right. Fiat's not even here, okay. But uh, this thing, these things all suck so bad. Okay, this one shows fiat, right? Um, so right now, it's my biggest dividend payout, my biggest yielder but it's temporary. You don't stay in an inverse a long time. So I just want you to understand how ripping off the top can work in something that's moving up. I hope you all did it in NVIDI. I hope you all did it in all the fast runners, okay? In Misty before it turned on you. Next time you see a fast runner, you wanna do this. 
core number ripping off the top. If you want to buy back in, that's up to you. Even you can do it with crypto. Um, but you want to do it focused on one thing that's fast moving, ideally moving up. This way you take full advantage of the upward moves until it stops moving up. The AI craze is slowing now, and Bitcoin is at the end of its bull run. If you like this real content, leave me a comment. Make sure you're subscribed. I'm not monetized, so if you like it, you like it. If you don't, you don't. Looking forward to a good Monday, um, even if it's a bad Monday, to be frank with you. My portfolio is right now an all-weather situation. I have a little bit of everything. AMZ gives me my NASDAQ coverage. AWS, we got a little of everything. Alti gives me a lot of that too. Even Nvidia is in there. Okay, the Qs are in there. Leveraged. Alti's a new girl. XDTE, we all know. The S&P 500. Fiat is written differently than crash. Do not confuse the two. They are written differently. Read the prospectus. They operate differently. Fiat is better. Fiat is the inverse. We're not going against Elon because one tweet could destroy you. But fiat, Brian Armstrong is no Elon Musk, number one. Actually, he could be an alien. But I will tell you that fiat has several things working in its favor. It's got the end of the Bitcoin bull run. Whether you believe it or not is irrelevant. It has the end of the Bitcoin bull run in front of it. It also... This is the best part. You're going to absolutely love it. It has the U.S. government on its tail. The SEC is always at war. What does that make for? They're always at war with Coinbase. Okay. And what does that make for? Great negative news. One tweet, anything. Okay. So all of that. And generally, it's September. Everyone did a uh, move to make something that was just a fairy tale reality. Yeah, so you know that September dumps. So because everybody says September dumps, everyone's afraid, so everyone dumps in September. It's called a self-fulfilling prophecy, just like I will be the greatest YouTuber in this niche because everyone loves strategies over spreadsheets. So the only one I'm core numbering now is fiat. Am I buying back into it? Probably not. I could even sell out on a day that it's up. Wait... Find my opportunity before dividends, buy back in, do a little profit ripping off the top to cover me for X dividend in case it don't recover. And I could capture the dividend too. This is the Oracle dividend capture play. Everyone, let me just tell you, do you think that my way of just ripping off the top when it goes above your number works or prefer garbage like this? Oh, every single strike there. So I got assigned 100 shares at 26, 100 shares at 23, and 100 shares at 22. So I own 300 shares of Bitex. That he did not want to own. He was thinking he was smart, could sell puts and calls on them. And you know what? They put 300 shares of Bitex right up his mangina. Everyone have a nice day. I look forward to your comments today.